Number 41, using a rope that will snap if the tension in it exceeds 387 newtons, you need to lower a bundle of old roofing material weighing 449 newtons from a point 6.1 meters above the ground. Obviously, if you hang the bundle on the rope, it will snap, so you allow the bundle to accelerate downward. Letter A, what magnitude of the bundle's acceleration will put the rope on the verge of snapping? Letter B, at that acceleration, with what speed would the bundle hit the ground? So let us draw our bundle, which is just this box over here. And let's draw the forces that act on the bundle. So pointing upwards, we have the tension from the rope, which is equal to 387 newtons. And pointing downwards, we have the force of gravity. So the force of, of gravity is equal to the weight of the, the bundle. So the Fg is equal to 449 newtons. So we have to apply Newton's second law in this situation over here. Let's just remember that the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. So let's first choose that upwards is positive and downwards is negative so the, this choice is arbitrary you could choose downwards to be positive instead so in this case we have the tension which is positive we have fg which is negative so i'm summing the forces the tension and fg and this is equal to the mass of the bundle times its acceleration Okay, so the only thing that we don't have in this equation is the acceleration, which is the answer of letter A, and the mass of the bundle. So the mass of the bundle can be calculated from the weight of the bundle. The weight of the bundle is equal to the mass times the gravity. So M is equal W over G. Okay, so now we can rewrite this equation like this T minus FG is equal to the weight over g the weight is the same as the force of gravity so we can replace w by fg times the acceleration okay so the acceleration is equal to g over fg times t minus fg so g is 9.8 we have that the the weight or the force of gravity is equal to 40, 449 times the tension which is equal to 387 minus 449 okay so if you do this calculation over here you would find roughly minus 1.4 meters per square second which means that the box the, the bundle is accelerating downward so that's the acceleration that the bundle is falling that's the answer of letter A as well Letter B, at, at that acceleration, with, with what speed would the bundle hit the ground? So since the acceleration is constant, we can use this equation over here. V squared is equal to VO squared plus 2 times A delta X or delta Y. You, you can choose the letter that you want to use. We want to find the final velocity, the initial, the final speed, the initial speed is zero. So the final speed is equal to the square root of 2 times the acceleration times delta x. Okay, so in this case, if, if we choose that upwards is positive, this would be, for example, 6.1 meters uh, at, the, at the starting position and 0 meters at the end of the movement. So delta x is equal to minus 6.1 because it's the final position minus the initial position. So delta x is equal to minus 6.1 meters. Okay, so the final speed is equal to 2 times minus 1.4 times minus 6.1, which is equal to roughly 4.1 meters per second. So that's the answer of letter B.